Good morning, YouTube. It is 8.20 a.m. on Sunday, May 7th. Yes, it is the 7th. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me skincare and makeup. I've been super into skincare and I finally have a regimen that is working for me, that is working great to keep my acne at bay and to fade my dark spots away. This is my face with no makeup on. But I did not do my full cleansing routine last night because I spent the night at my boyfriend's house and I don't have all my stuff over there and I was not about to pack everything up even though it's really not that much. But let's get started. The first thing that I like to do if I didn't do my full nighttime routine or get on ready with me routine that I recorded yesterday, um, then I actually need to actually, then I actually need to actually, then I need to fully cleanse my face in the morning. And a cleanser that I really, really have been enjoying is this St. Ives Exfoliate and Nourish Coconut Oil Scrub. This stuff works for me and it helps add moisture back into my skin. And the, and you're supposed to apply this to your face dry at first and then you add water to create a lather. But I'm gonna be using my new Vanity Planet brush. You can see it's right here. The brushes are out because I washed them because I used them yesterday. Most of the brushes are out. I still have a silicone brush in here. But it comes in a nice package. It has three different brush heads. This is their, what is this one called? Their ultimate spa. So my brush is actually still damp. I washed it yesterday. I washed the brushes after I used them. I'm just going to towel dry it a little bit. You attach it on real easy, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this St. Ives Exfoliate and Nourish Coconut Oil Scrub to the brush and start to cleanse my face. The brush is uh, slightly damp, so you might see it lather up. This does have little scrubbies in it, so I really like this. And this is the Exfoliate Brush Head. And it has two settings. You can do fast and slow. Oh wow, there's a spider on my um, mirror. I need to kill that. Anyone who knows me personally knows how much I hate bugs. So the fact that I'm so calm right now, that is all God. I'm not going to have to pause this video. I'll come back to cleansing and exfoliating my face at the same time about two seconds. Let me just kill this spider. It's kind of big, but we're just going to go in and smush it. Okay. The spider is dead. I'm going to add a little bit more of this exfoliating product to the brush and go in. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure either. The exfoliate brush is um, a little bit more intense for around the eye area. So I just be careful there. I literally just got like face wash in my eyeball. But you know what? I will make it through. Don't forget your neck area. All right, so you can see that it is dirty. I'm gonna go rinse this off and then we're going to do some more cleansing with the brush fully damp. So now my brush head is damp and this is where it gets kind of messy because water does spray around and with this face wash when you add water to it it starts to foam up into a white lather so you can kind of see that happening now 
a little bit. I really love this exfoliating brush head. It's my favorite one. I've only used the regular daily cleansing one and this exfoliating one. I haven't used the silicone one yet. Well, this one is by far my favorite of the two I've used. All right, so that removes some more makeup and leftover dirt on my face. At this point, I would normally splash water on my face to remove the remaining um, parts of the cleanser, but because my computer is on my sink and I don't really want to do that in the tub, I'm just going to take my clean cleansing cloth that is moistened and we're going to wipe away the leftover face wash and we'll be left with beautiful moisturized cleansed skin. And I'm making sure to get all around my face and the neck. Wiping off all the leftover dirt, makeup, oil, sweat. I really sweat. It was cold here. Cold for May. Wipe all of that away. And we're left with this. My skin is nice and moisturized. That's one thing I love about the coconut oil. The oil helps to like put moisture in my skin and I have oily skin so you would think that that would be bad. But when you add oil to oily skin, it helps prevent, it tricks your skin into not producing oil because it's already oily. That makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my um, scarf that was laying down my edges for this blow puff sort of thing I'm doing today. All right, so after I've cleansed my face, I like to go in and tone. I have two different products that I kind of like to use to do that. The first one is I have some coffee I'm gonna start drinking put my cleanser back I love that St. Ives though I've always been a fan of St. Ives my mom used that when I was a child the not that one but the um apricot scrub which is very abrasive she used to use that I remember watching her use that my mom has really nice skin yeah my skin feels really good really clean this is the Dickinson's original witch hazel pour perfecting toner 100% natural love this stuff it's awesome I'm gonna put a little bit on this cotton round and I'm going and rub this all over my face especially where I have breakouts that are trying to ruin my life I had a pimple right here if y'all can tell you can see it's healing right there. A couple on my chin area. My cheek. I'm the kind of person that when I break out, it's random and you never know where it's going to hit. But most often it hits my chin, I would say. And I like to use both sides in the morning. I like to use both sides of my cotton round if I didn't do my full cleanse the day before. I'm also going to do the same thing to my neck. I like to not waste any product if it's still moist. You know, go ahead, do your neck, get behind your ears, go up my chest a little bit. I'm just using it all up. Go behind your ears, just get your maximum amount of use. 
All right. So I applied that. It leaves your skin very glowy and beautiful and clean, removes anything that's left over. Then I like to go in with my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, the mattifying formula, since I have oily skin. And this almost acts like a primer for me. So that's what it looks like. It has green packaging. There you go, you can kind of see it. And this is what I've been using on my skin, y'all, to help clear it up. Y'all can tell, I can see a drastic difference. My skin looks so much better, especially from the front. I almost look like I have no acne or no scars. I'm just still working on the sides and the perimeter of my face and my chin when it comes to my scarring. I really like this cleansing water. Like I said, it's mattifying. To me, I basically use this kind of like a primer. Okay. Awesome. So I need to let this dry a little bit. I usually fan my face like I'm doing now. Go in and moisturize my lips with my Smith's Rose Bud Salve. You already know. I just dip my lip in there since I'm the only one that uses it. I'm gonna adjust this so I don't have to bend over as much. There we go. Now we're going to go in with my Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Dark Spot Corrector. It looks like this. I really have been loving the Garnier um, Skin Active line. I'm just going to do my two lines. One on each side. Sometimes I go this way horizontally instead of vertical. And then I just rub that in, really focusing on the areas where I have the most dark marks still which would be the sides of my face. But I rub it in all over my face because I'm extra. I'm gonna do a really simple makeup look today. I'm not in a creative mood. Like I had creative ideas, but I don't feel like executing them. And with whatever's left, I take down onto my neck. On the back of my neck, like I said, I'll be wasting no product, but if there's some left over, just take it everywhere. Making sure to get right around my edges where I have all these little dark marks right here. Around the perimeter of my face. Mm. Under the eyes as well. Neck. And then I just rub what I slipped over on my arms. So that's my dark spot corrector. Now it's time for my moisturizer. I use the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And the foundation I'm going to wear today has SPF in it. So we're just going to be SPF'd out, which is good because I live in the south and I'm in the sun. Not a lot, a lot, but I do get exposed to the sun. So I see I just applied one pump all over my face. And I'm just gonna rub that in. I'm really focusing on the outermost part of my face to protect those dark spots. And then I kind of work it into the center of my face, but really focusing on the perimeter. And then my neck. with the sunscreen. All right, and that is it for skincare. I did that in under 15 minutes. Normally it only takes me less than 10, but that is my morning skincare routine. I think I'm just gonna make these two separate videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this morning skincare routine featuring all products from the drugstore and the Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa Spin Brush with the three heads. Um, I will put um, a link to that product in the description box if you're interested in purchasing that brush. I think it's a pretty cool brush. I've only had it for one day. I used it yesterday and I used it this morning. So far I'm liking it. So we'll see with time if I see any additional improvements at a faster rate than me just using my hands like I normally would. 
Oh, if you're wondering about my nails, this color is called Fairy Dream. I don't remember the brand, but it is a gel nail polish, and I love this nude color. I think it's really pretty. But I hope you guys enjoyed my morning skincare routine. Um, let me know if you've used any of these products or if you have any product suggestions to help me further fade these dark spots. I think I'm pretty good with acne control. I just break out hormonally, kind of. So, or when I'm stressed. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.